Mission Karm Yogi is a national program for civil services capacity building aimed to reform Indian bureaucracy. The mission is launched with a view to create a highly efficient civil services that will contribute more towards the development of the country. The institutional framework for the mission has been designed by the Department of Personal and Training under the able guidance of Honorable Union Minister Dr. Jitendra Singh. In India, there are around 20 million bureaucrats touching the lives of millions of citizens on a day-to-day -day basis. Civil servants play one of the most crucial roles in the formulating the public policies as well as in execution. There is no denying the fact that they are the backbone of our country. Their contribution range from judiciary to healthcare, from land to sea, and managing internal as well as external affairs which connect almost every walk of our lives. A lot of expectations of the nations are attached with the performance of these officials who come from different background, environment, capabilities and discharge diversified duties assigned to them. It was felt that the existing framework in which civil servants are trained lacked efficiency orientations. In course of time, some changes were brought in the training policies of civil servants, but those were in silos. Mission Karmyogi, on the other hand, was envisaged to transform HR management system for civil servants from rule-based to role-based in totality and in developing suitable competency. This has also led to a development of a competency-based human resource and governance for civil servants. Competency has been defined in many ways. However, the most practical and an easy way to understand competency is that Competencies are those underlying characteristics of an employee which can result in effective and superior performance in a job or a role. The new competency-based governance model under Mission Karm Yogi provides an opportunity for central training institute like ours to design competency-based training for the Indian civil service. There are in all 30 competencies which have been categorized under five broad areas. They are ethos, Ethics, Equity, Efficiency and Productivity. Each of this competency has a definition and its proficiency level. Further, each proficiency level has behavioral indicators which are objective, measurable and are required for various positions in the ministries and departments. So, let's have a look at the first competency, Ethos, under which we will talk about People First. As the name suggests, People first means keeping the citizens first. India carries a tradition of public welfare from ages and after independence, it became the cardinal principle of the constitution. Those citizen-centric approaches have been the center for government transformation and public service reforms. People first approach in Mission Karam Yogi is not limited to just traditional citizen-centric concept of public administration. It goes way beyond the citizen centricity. Under Mission Karm Yogi, people first symbolizes passion, passion for serving people with special care. It expects a civil servant to be approachable, welcoming, caring, and unbiased while interacting with the people of all sections of the society. People first means taking the needs and voices of people into account while designing, delivering, implementing, and evaluating public policies and services. Broadly, a people-centric approach is the one where the government consults citizens about their needs and encourages their direct participation in policy making and service design and delivery. This implies working with a common objective of putting people at the center, building and sharing collective knowledge, streamlining information flow in order to collaborate and reach citizens wherever they are. The reason we need to emphasize on people first is also because in India, there are still some sections whose voices are unheard and unnoticed. These voices have not been taken into account for whatsoever reason while formulating the public policies at large. This has led to socio-economic disparities. For instance, women, member of scheduled caste and scheduled tribes, disparities between urban and rural ones. 
Also, an average citizen may not necessarily understand the complexities of governance and politics. That is why stability, transparency, efficiency and continuity in the governance system that the citizens are most immediately concerned with is so necessary. And that is why our priority in India must be to place the people at the centre of a modern public administration. In order to make the concept of people first a reality, Civil service framework in terms of capacity building should be transformed step by step. Firstly, civil servants will have to learn to respond sensitively to the needs of the citizens. They will have to strive to respond quickly to meet their needs in a respectful, helpful and responsive manner. They must report issues that affect service delivery. They should address all the issues of the citizens in an unbiased manner. They should ensure that the level of services are maintained, highlight risk or concerns in order to meet community requirements. As a second step, civil servants need to anticipate the requirement of the citizens. A civil servant will have to actively seek information from all sections of community to understand their needs and expectations. They should be accessible to all citizens and seek their feedback to develop a clear understanding of the needs and outcomes. Civil servants are required to establish mechanisms to address feedback from the community about the service provided. Civil servants need to involve themselves with diverse range of staff members, stakeholders and delivery partners while developing implementation approaches in order to provide clarity on the benefits to the disadvantaged and to improve the quality of service provided to the citizens. Civil servants must understand issues from others' perspective as well particularly from the disadvantaged ones. Thirdly, civil servants must promote the service to the citizens. Civil servants must project and prove themselves as a role model of positive community service behaviours. They should be able to promote a culture focused on serving and meeting the needs of the citizens. They should track trends that will affect their own department's ability to meet current and future community needs and continuously strive to provide effective service to the public. At the next level, civil servants should actively improve the service being provided to the citizens. In order to create a suitable environment for people-first oriented capacity building framework and working environment, the country needs to be open and provide full information to its citizens, consult and involve people, encourage access and promote choices among its citizens, treat all citizens equally and fairly, Put the things right when they go wrong. Use country's resources effectively. Innovate and improve. And work with other providers. Once the people first approach get integrated with the civil service capacity building framework, the service of the country will be much more. First, collaborative, where information will freely pass between departments creating an ecosystem of shared data that bring overall value to the citizen. Second, agile and responsive, so that it can continue to adapt to public needs. Third, focused on outcome instead of merely focusing on output. Fourth, and third party friendly. The citizen is not interested in who delivers the service to them as long as it works for them and makes their life easier. By using third party contractors, better services can be delivered to the citizen in a more efficient way and maybe at a lower cost. This was all about People First and why it is an important competency of National Programme for Civil Service Capacity Building. The content is curated with the help of the paper authored by Muzaffar Uddin Abdali, Indian Postal Service Officer of 1997 batch under the guidance of IIPA faculty Dr. Neetu Jain. Thank you for watching.